this video, you will learn how to create a program in C++ that finds the square root of a number using the Babylonian method. In the first part of the video, we will go over the definition of an algorithm. Then we'll explain the steps in the Babylonian method. Some of these steps involve recursion, so we will go over recursion as well. Finally, we will create the C++ program and test it in the console window. An algorithm is a sequence of discrete instructions which are carried out in a finite amount of time to produce a specific result. More informally, an algorithm can be thought of as some kind of recipe or set of directions, but it's a lot more precise than a cake recipe or something that can have a varied result even if you follow the steps. Like, you could follow the recipe for making a batch of cookies and if you don't adjust for altitude or something, these external factors get in and mess up the results. It's true that some algorithms do involve randomness. There are algorithms that use random numbers generated by static from the atmosphere to do calculations. And there are algorithms in nature that depend on random mutations to allow for new trajectories, hence natural selection. So people have been using algorithms for thousands of years. Only recently they've been using them for electronic computers. The algorithm we'll be using today in the program is the same as it was thousands of years ago. There are a few steps. First, you input a positive number. By the end of the calculations, you should have an approximate square root of that number. Let the estimation of the square root start off as 1. In the next step, the estimation will be recalculated as the average of the estimation plus the number divided by the estimation. Repeat this calculation as many times as desired. The more times you repeat it, the more accurate your estimation will be. This recursive function can go on indefinitely but no matter what, you will never reach the limit. Your calculation will only yield an estimation, not the actual square root. A recursive function recycles output as input for a set number of cycles. In the square root algorithm, you can see that the number that is changing or being recycled is the estimation. The number you started off with stays the same. So declare all the necessary header files. Now set up your main function with some float variables. There will be an input which will initialize to 0 and an estimation which will initialize to 1. The cout line will tell the user to input a number which should be positive. It wouldn't be a bad idea to put some kind of if statement or while loop to make sure that you're only inputting a positive value. Square root is actually a recursive estimation. That means it's more of an approximation instead of an actual solid answer. As you saw in the Babylonian method, it's actually a limit you're approaching. So each time you run the for loop that does this algorithm, you're getting closer to that limit. Putting a cout statement inside the for loop will let you see how the result is approaching the limit or the square root. So with each successive generation or iteration of the for loop, you're getting closer to the square root. Let's input the number 16. You will notice a convergence on 4. The same goes for 25. The estimations are approaching the square root of 25, which is 5. 